was uh, a kid, you know, 11 guitar was the instrument of rock and roll and popular music. So that's what I was interested in. So I rented one. My mother rented me one when I was 11. We didn't buy it. The music store would rent you an acoustic guitar. I've played uh, with bands my whole life. That was the whole reason I started to play guitar, was to play with other musicians and play first rock and roll and blues. And then I got into jazz, you know, and this was always about being part of a group. Um, and, and I think solo guitar is really hard. <laughs> you know, playing solo jazz piano, to me it makes more sense because you can play the harmony and the melody at the same time. To do that on the guitar, you have to go through all kinds of leaps and bounds and technical, uh, it's so difficult. So I never wanted to do it. But then they invented this uh, uh, sampler so I can make little accompaniments on, on the fly. I just, I don't have pre-recorded accompaniments, I just make them as part of, of the performance. And uh, I think that's allowed me to do a whole concert. You know, a lot of it is just by myself, but I have the, the addition of being able to play with uh, myself. <laughs> It's not the instrument, uh, it's not the equipment, um, it's the, the player, you know, just the way he gets a sound out of the string. It's a, a string, really, and, and what you do with it after you attack it, and how you attack it, and then what your hand does after the string is, uh, uh, the sound is produced, then you can manipulate it with the, your finger, you know. and. Um, that's the most important thing, and uh, you know you have to have a good instrument. But it's it's really not uh, as important as a lot of people think. And I'm a guitar geek too. You know, I like to look at all the guitars and the magazines and and think about all the different instruments. And, uh, um. I, I never think about. Uh, ideas when I write music um, and I bet most musicians are like that that music instrumental music exists in a different part of your brain you know and it's it's not about an idea that could be described with language or an idea visual it, it's uh, those names I think come after that music exists in its own place I've made a record, and it's a solo album on ECM Records, and uh, I believe right now it's called John Schofield, <laughs> and uh, it's got a really nice cover that uh, Manfred Eicher picked out. It's a picture of a, a beach with just one dog on it, you know, it's sort of like me uh, by myself, you know, not with the band. Thank you.